Well, it's gonna be explained why she doesn't appear in that cutscene. If you do it later, I'll explain why, because we're actually gonna come up on that point pretty soon. But other than that... Oh yeah, Lexia is kind of a bitch. Now, there's a hunter here. This is the last one in the game. And that's it. Nothing else to worry about. Combine, and... I'm gonna want to hold on to the Magnum, because we are, are gonna have another boss fight coming up. So, let's see. I really did not expect to be put on caution. I never have a, a problem with that fight. Then again, I usually use the Magnum, but I do kind of want to save it for something. Let's see. There should be some stuff we can get here. There's something shiny over here, and that is another wing object. I think you need the lights on, or else you can't get those. What's that little drumming thing in the background? I don't know. But I'm gonna go deposit some stuff again, heal myself, and grab another healing item, and... I don't actually know if that giant spider can poison you. It might. I don't know. It probably can, because all of the spiders can poison you. So why wouldn't the giant one? The little spiders, I don't think it damage you that much. I'm gonna probably want to turn off the power, actually. I could be wrong. I think we do. And also, the handgun is kind of useless at this point. There's a few regular zombies, but not that many. So, we're gonna wanna have the grenade launcher, some magnum bullets, and you're gonna wanna leave the shotgun as well. But I'm gonna take this green herb and then take another healing item just in case. We're gonna need this in a bit as well. And we're gonna wanna turn. Actually, no, we're gonna wanna. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, we're gonna want to turn off the power for now. And the elf. Wait. So we're gonna want to leave the power off. It's gonna. It's not clear why you want it off, but I'll explain when we get to that point. This is a pretty interesting little courtyard. They have a little carousel thing, which, again, I don't know why they always scream out, but they do. They also have that little sky decor, which is nice. But we're not really here for that. What we are here for is something else. Yep, it's the mansion from the original game. Pretty much redone in the Co-Veronica engine. It's a working replica. 100% pretty much. And it's a bit smaller with the upper floor compared to the original. And it's no door, but it's pretty much a replica like as far as you can get. There's also no door over here, but yeah, pretty much a 100% replica. The camera angles even look the same. I'm gonna need a key for that. And there's a knife up there for one reason. It's Claire. We have finally found her. You're gonna need a knife for this, and that's why they keep it to you there. So that's really nice on their part. Actually, we know the clip for that. Claire. Chris. I missed you so much. I know. But we have to get out of here. Not yet. 
We have to find Steve. Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. But then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's Alexia! Alexia? There really is an Alexia? <laughs> It is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. <laughs> After her. She might know where Steve is. Let's go. Just go. I'll be fine. But Chris... You've got to save Steve. Go! Oh, wow. Uh, what's interesting is that if you... You can get poisoned from the Nosferatu fight. And if you do, Claire will start out on danger, and you'll have to go back and get medicine for her. It's optional in all the versions, it's not required in any particular one. It's kind of a shame that that didn't happen, because I really wanted to show that. I guess I got lucky. We are controlling Claire again. Also, the poisoning doesn't really matter. You might lose a few more bullets, because you're going to have to go back to the place where you get the magnum, and the medicine is going to be there. But otherwise, well, that that's really all there is to it. Then you get an extended scene where it says, where Claire says, "I think I've been poisoned," and Chris comes back and says, "Claire, I'll take care of you." And then basically the game flows from normal from there. That cutscene is also quite different in the in the Umbrella Dark Side Chronicles because Alexia actually giggles at them and claims that they're not really a friend at all, instead of just simply laughing. You are gonna want a healing item for what's coming up in Claire's in the last bit for Claire. I'm just saying, it is required. Don't ask, just trust me on it. And it's also why you want to leave the shotgun there. You're not gonna have to leave it there, don't worry. But is there are grenade rounds? Which is very useful, as always. Unfortunately, well, it's my least favorite part of the game is coming up. Actually, probably one of the worst parts of any Resident Evil game. I've been dreading what's coming up for so long. Um, you'll see in a bit. I. Uh, I might actually die just to point out how bad it is going to be. So first we're going to want to check this out. And because we have the lockpick, we can open it. And what's inside are our magnum rounds. This is very easy to miss. You need to get, you need to go back and visit that area in the Antarctic base where the spider was. And you have to go through one of the doors. And there was, earlier in the game, there were zombies. There's a zombie and a Derulium case, and you couldn't get inside, and the zombie couldn't get you either. You're gonna want- you're gonna have to come back there as Chris. If you forget, then you're screwed out of those magnum rounds. Unfortunately, we can't give these to Chris, because something is gonna come up as soon as we get control of him, him again. And I recommend you simply use the handgun for this. I- I'm not lying, I really don't like what's gonna come up. It is the Bane. It's one of the few Banes I hate in the game. Next to... I would compare it to Dead Space 2 in the part where you have to drive a needle into Isaac's eye. And I probably just spoiled something big. 
it's not nearly as bad as this. But it was still nerve-wracking. And what's coming up is pretty nerve-wracking as well. Shoot it out. You don't have to take out the second one, but you do have to take out this one. Okay, it's gone. We can't open this. I think there are going to be some zombies inside. So what I'm going to want to do is kill them and go back and deposit the handgun. Yeah, there is. Just so it doesn't annoy me. I wonder, can I kill him? I guess I can't. So I guess I don't really need the handgun. I'm just gonna need the healing item because you do need it. It is required that you need that you need it. You can carry another healing item in case you're feeling not that confident. But you need the but you need one. I'm actually legit nervous about what's going to come up. Because I had a bad experience with it. I don't really need the handgun, but I just want to leave it because why the heck not? And look at that bow gun. 200 rounds plus gunpowder. I have gun I'm lucky in something else that requires the herb, so I guess it's not a bad idea to carry another healing item, but again, you just need one. I can't really say why you need it, but you will find out. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to take this security file. We're gonna need this or something. And here comes. Well, I don't. I just. Yeah! You see this? You're gonna have to put it under that thing. And that instant kills you. That's right. Oh, I'm being cautious. Whoa! Jesus. And be quick about it, Claire. And now what we're gonna wanna do is go in there and grab it. Whoa! There we go. Yeah, I've died on that twice. Once was because I kind of derved and I just stood there. The other time was, that thing will still crush you even after you've gotten this open and you grabbed it. I did not realize that. I was like, oh sweet, I made it. Fuck. My heart was legit pounding. I was really worried about that. I'm not worried about something else though. Now, keep in mind, if you do die here, there is a checkpoint. When you grab, um, as soon as you start playing as Claire, there is a checkpoint. Meaning, you will not have to go back to your last save point. Additionally, when we resume control of Chris, we're also going to get a checkpoint for that. Hey, look, it's Steve. Let's leave him. Okay, I can't actually leave him. We have to approach him. Steve? Oh. Claire. Who did this to you? 
that crazy woman told me she was going to perform the same experiment on me that she did on her own father. She's completely insane. Uh, 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 What's wrong? Claire! Can't breathe! Claire! Help me! Claire! Steve, I am sorry about all that I have ever said about you. Please don't kill me. Run! This is also why you want the healing item. That'll put you in danger immediately. Another hit. Fuck. I am totally fucked. No! Should have brought a bread herb! No! I should have brought a green and a red herb! Why'd I bring the green herb? No! Okay. I will meet you all back at the thing with Steve. I did not realize... Shut up, puppy. That... I needed a red and green herb. I thought I'd be fine with the green mix. I'll be back. Okay, before we start this again... I want to make note that I brought the, another green herb and a mixed herb. Just because I am not feeling confident because I already got fucked up in this. And also, you guys would like to know that I nearly died trying to get this. Whatever, let's do this again. Okay, so use the mixed herb, and we're back on fine. And I think... Whoa, that was close.
I love you. Glitter. Steve? 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 Now, because of what just happened with Steve killing me, I think what is about to happen next in the video is totally appropriate.